What it is, what it was, what it could be, y'all. Welcome back to Disc Golf Justice. Today I'm at Barnwell Park here in Sydney, which is a fantabulous golf course. But I ain't gonna be playing no golf. This is a disc golf only channel, baby. So we're gonna be playing some disc golf. The reason I don't play here very often is because they charge $15 to play and the ball golfers still play alongside you. So you got golf balls flying all over all the time. You gotta be on edge. Now I'm not telling you to come after hours. I'm just telling you that I'm here after hours and there are far less golfers here. So let's go play some disc golf, baby. Hole one, two. 241 feet dead straight par three. I'm gonna play pretty quickly. I got some golfers behind me. Get there. Yeah, that'll be fine. That'll be fine, I reckon. The distance was good on this, but we didn't leave ourselves with much of a look. But if I get real low, yeah, we'll take a bird. Hole two, 273 feet uphill, but you do got two bunkers up there that play as a hazard. So you wanna avoid those, obviously. I'm just gonna throw a zone out wide, hopefully let it crash in. Should be good. Crash in there. It's short, I don't know how short. Hopefully I'm not in the bunker. Well, we avoided both bunkers. Glad we avoided that one. I don't know if you just saw those sprinklers on, but we got a circle's edge putt here for birdie. Let's put it in there. Oh, off the tiz up. So this hole actually plays a little bit further than I anticipated. Leaving us with a tester of our first putt and ended up taking a par. Isn't this course beautiful though? Like playing on this incredible grass. You can either do the big forehand or you can do the big backhand. There is a bunker up there to the right of the basket. I reckon I'm feeling pretty confident in the backhand out right now, especially with this left to right wind. That needs to sit. Easy par. Look what we got. Try to put this one in. Yes. Yes. That's a good bird right there. That's a good bird. Hole four, 266 feet around these trees. You do got an OB creek right here. Hope that can make it a little bit further than that. You do got some sand traps over there that act as a hazard. I'm just gonna go uh, overstable mid-range, put it out there and let it do the work. Oh, it's too wide. Oh, I don't know. There's a bunker over there. We might be in the bunker. Yeah, we did land in the bunker, but I mean, technically the rule on this is like it's touching green, right? So I can, I'm pretty sure I can move this. This is a casual round. I'm moving it. Whatever. One, two, three. Look, I don't know the rules, man. I'm just out here trying to have a good time. Oh, maybe that's a sign that I broke the rule. Maybe the disc doesn't lie. I don't know. Okay, now we're talking hole five, 416 foot par four. I'm going for eagle, baby. Oh, come out of that. I need that to come out of that, please. Yeah, I pulled over on that. That wasn't a great toss. The headwind got me a little bit. I thought the photon would be stable enough, but I mean, it's most likely form issues. Let's see if we can put this close. Yup, that's close. I mean, still a birdie. Can't be upset with that. Hole six, 290 feet. You got a low ceiling. I think there's some bunkers up there, but I, I can't quite remember. I reckon I'm gonna go Katuku and see if I can't park this up there. Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Fade, 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 fade. I mean, that's definitely a putt. I thought the Katuku was a little more stable than that because I also threw that slightly nose up, so I thought it would fade a bit more. We actually left ourselves with a bit of a tester, kind of short. I thought this definitely had the distance, but I guess not. Doesn't matter if you can putt though. I've been feeling very, very confident in my putting ability. Only inside the circle, not even the whole circle, like 25 feet and in. I've been really feeling really, really confident about my putt. Hole seven is 286 feet. It says there's a double mando between these two trees over here and that the basket's over there, but that physically doesn't make any sense. There, and it's a par three. <laughs> There'd be no way to get a disc to go that away and go over there. I'm just gonna play this without the double mando and play straight to the basket. 286 feet, I'm gonna throw a PD. Crash on in there. Go in the basket. Oh, that had to be pretty close. This must have faded pretty hard. This is a bit of a tester and that wind's picking up. Got a bit of a tailwind. See how we go. Nice. <laughs> nice. I am at a PB. That's a PB. 
I'm crushing my best score on this by a long ways. We're running out of light. Hole three, 241 feet just over this green. You definitely don't want to land on the green and you don't want to land in these bunkers up front. And there's some behind the, the green as well. Yeah, that should be parked. That should be parked. I actually went a bit long. <laughs> Dude, I was just freaking out. I've been looking for that disc for like 10 minutes. I thought it just vanished. I was like, bro, there's no way that disc just vanished into thin air. That was a really good shot. This course also does soccer golf. So all these baskets have holes that they're set into. And uh, I aced the soccer basket hole. <laughs> Dang, so if that would have been just a little higher. We're talking about an ace, but hey, I'll take a birdie. Hole nine, this is gonna be the last hole for today. I'm just losing all my light. I'll probably come back tomorrow and film back nine because the back nine's got some really long holes, really challenging holes, some holes I'd really like to throw some rollers on as well. So even though it's the same baskets, the T layout changes do make it a bit more fun. Back nine. Hole nine, we got 301 feet. I reckon I'm gonna throw this drive twice, see how we go. I'm gonna throw one backhand straight at it with my Envy and my first throw, I'm gonna throw with the Felon on the forehand and see how we go. There's two bunkers guarding the basket, and then you got the green there as well. That should be good. Crash, crash, crash. Oh, I don't know, there's a bunker over there, so we're either in the bunker or we're parked, one of the two. Okay, let's try the Envy on the backhand line and see which one's better. Track in, slightly nose up. Oh, I feel like that one definitely went into the bunker. Just as I suspected, the Envy was in the bunker, but our first shot, the felon on the forehand, is absolutely parked for a bird. And I think that's gonna make us five down through nine holes, which is by far my best on this. I've just been feeling really confident lately. I feel like I can throw backhands. I feel like I can throw forehands. I feel like the putt isn't completely useless at the moment. Like I'm not making everything, but I'm not missing everything either like I used to be and had no confidence at all. So I'm feeling pretty good on my game right now. All right, y'all, that is gonna wrap up the front nine of playing on a golf course. This is really awesome. Like the course looks amazing at sunset. You're playing with greens next to you with bunkers and hazards and stuff. It's a really cool experience. I don't think it's worth the $15 every single time. So maybe come after hours like I'm doing I don't know I'm just saying but yeah, I shot five down to the front nine which is a PB for me by far I'm feeling on top of my game I have some videos that I shot in the past that I haven't quite came out yet and I played pretty horrible in them and just the difference between then to now and my confidence tenfold and that be putting backhand forehand all of it I just I feel really good at the moment so make sure you stay tuned for the back nine I'll probably come back out here tomorrow night and play the back nine so y'all can see the whole course if you guys like the video make sure you give it a big old thumbs up if you want to see more make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future content and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.